Bear Clooney's birthday here at Joseph Anthony Jewelry Store with Anthony himself. And here is Bear Clooney's birthday watch. So what's so special about this one? Well, this one is a vintage now, unavailable from the current collection, GMT Master 2, model 16713. A few design highlights to, to note there, Mike, is the champagne date window, tritium dial on the, on the markers. So it may show some age over time, some patina. Nice. Twin lock crown. So the two dots on the crown. And in a rare scenario, Jubilee bracelet. So you also have the, the holes in the, in the shoulders of the watch. Mm -hmm. And full 18K in steel Jubilee bracelet. Thank you very much, Anthony. Put it on, Mike. Bear Clooney watches, May 11th, 2018. A beautiful timepiece. Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for coming again to Bear Clooney Watches channel. I am Bear who likes the watches. This is my cave. And uh, today we're doing a video which is kind of like appreciation video. Appreciation of two two-tone watches in my collection and reflecting on two-tone timepieces. If you hear any noise in the background, please forgive me. There is a bit of a festival going on in the back and there is some music coming out of it that's not necessarily Bear Clooney's choice, but music nevertheless. So, going back to the subject, two-tone watches. I think uh, there is kind of ongoing debate first at what age can someone pull a two-tone timepiece. I'm not a fan of that debate. Uh, to be very honest with you, uh, the way I look at it, um, the timepiece and watch itself is appropriate for any age that person feels it's right. It's a similar to debate when is the uh, age when you should buy your first Rolex or something of that nature. Um, I think uh, you really should determine if the timepiece speaks to you, if actually uh, it appeals to you aesthetically, if it looks right on your wrist, and if it makes you feel good. And ultimately, if you can afford this timepiece. When it comes to two-tone timepieces, uh, one thing that I really kind of like about them, they bring the best of two worlds. Uh, the world of uh, stainless steel and the world of precious metals. So, if you take a look at a solid gold Rolex or any solid precious metal piece, you will find that it's slightly soft. Uh, and you will be really cautious wearing it. It will almost become obsession because it really scratches much easier than stainless steel. When you look at uh, two-tone pieces, um, they kind of have this fine touch of the precious metal and then steel to provide the robustness and, and form of the, of the timepiece. So it's a kind of good combination of one with the other. The other thing that I really appreciate about two-tone watches is certainly the value point. I mean, when it comes to Rolex specifically, uh, the price between a solid uh, precious metal piece and uh, two-tone is significant, while the price difference between um, stainless steel piece and uh, two-tone piece is not as extreme. So the two-tone will kind of allow you to experience the luxury feeling that precious metal provides. And I think that main reason that people appreciate luxury, uh, sorry, the uh, precious metal in a timepiece is the 
luxury component of it. Of course, Bir Clooney is not naive, and uh, he understands that um, certain individuals look at the precious metal pieces as the uh, show-off timepieces, and uh, ultimately wearing them for a completely different reasons. But I'm talking from the perspective of the watch lover, watch enthusiast, and uh, in my humble opinion, the uh, precious metal is truly just an additional touch to luxury, something that adds and contributes to the luxury appeal, uh, the gleam of the timepiece, and ultimately aesthetically um, improving the watch altogether. So I suggest now that we uh, step into Bear Clooney's watch studio and take a closer look of the two timepieces that Bear Clooney has in his collection, and they're both two-tone pieces, both obviously from Rolex Company. I hope you will enjoy them as much as I do. So, let's go. And here we are at Bear Clooney Watches Studio, Taking a closer look at two beautiful two-tone Rolex pieces, one is from 2000 on the right side, which is the Rolex Bluesy Rolex Sub, reference number 16613. And on the left side is most recent Bear Clooney's acquisition and addition to his collection. Uh, which is the Rolex GMT Master to reference number 16713. A beautiful two watches, beautiful two pieces. And immediately you will notice um, that it is a perfect combination of stainless steel ruggedness and 18 karat yellow gold luxury. These two pieces, in my opinion, perfectly represent what I said earlier. Now, let's take a closer look at this beautiful Rolex Sub, Rolex Bluesy, which is, uh, in my opinion, a true uh, exemplary illustration of what happens when you mix rugged stainless steel with luxurious yellow gold. It is such a Rolex watch. It is watch that I think leaves exceptional impression on somebody taking a look at it. What adds to that is a striking blue face. Um, this is a very popular version of uh, Rolex Sub, which came out, uh, it was unveiled in 1988 and gained immense popularity during the 20 year production of this beautiful watch. In 2009, Rolex introduced the newer version 116613, replacing this version, which is a ceramic bezel and a maxi dial. Now, Bear Clooney, when it comes to the two-tone watches, seems to be a little more uh, attracted to the pre-ceramic, uh, non-maxi dial look. And uh, I think this watch is a perfect example why, even though it's a sports watch, it has a certain refinement. Um, and I think that uh, uh, this refinement cannot be achieved fully with a ceramic dial and maxi di ceramic bezel and maxi dial. When I look at this watch uh, I, and its bracelet, I, I find that this watch, even though it belongs to the sports line of Rolex watches, carries a certain refinement that can kind of qualify it into, into dress piece. And uh, especially these days when uh, sports watches are ultimately replacing dress watches, I think this, this is a, a perfect example of uh, how two-tone watch even further takes that role. Um, Beautiful timepiece, um, great movement, obviously Rolex Sub. I don't need to spend time talking a bit. As you can see, Bear Clooney likes to access, accessorize. Uh, and now 
my newest acquisition, the uh, beautiful Rolex GMT Master II, which is black and gold combo. It's a reference number 16713. Uh, I just love this watch, and I'm so thankful to Anthony for finding it for me and ensuring that it's crispy, clean, minty, fresh. Uh, special uh, little addition in the beauty of this watch, in my opinion, is the Jubilee bracelet, which so nicely adds to overlook overall a uh, 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 luxury feel of it the watch is elegant the watch is thin yeah the crown the crown is a uh, twin lock crown and uh, some might say it makes it a look like a wimp compared to the triple lock uh, on submariner series uh, it's a maybe a little bit like that but I actually find it charming, um, and to me, it just makes sense. I love how crispy this watch, how uh, mint it is, even it, does, it is from early 90s. The Jubilee bracelet is actually like uh, brand new. Uh, I, I find it uh, actually really uh, exciting to look at it. And uh, one thing that, that kind of um, amuses me is that this, uh, spring on this on this on this bracelet is still so tight so uh, un 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 uh, it wasn't worn it was it's a brand new so it, it it's like it's tight it doesn't it's not loose i think that's so cool i think it's it's uh, something so so special to to me when i look at the watch that's um vintage yet brand new i don't know i don't know i, I don't know how to explain it's like a like a, like a watch that, that hasn't been really worn, that hasn't been really touched, and it's from the past, and now it appears in its full glory in front of us. This bracelet is just absolutely amazing, but it has to be kept clean, otherwise it can stretch and completely lose its appeal. Um, this watch is uh, easy to read, the GMT hand, that gold GMT hand, so elegant and thin. On the new ones, they, they make them green. I don't know. I, I find that in this version, it's just perfect the way it is. And now, take a look at both of them next to each other. These two pieces are just such a nice uh, two watches in Bear Clooney's collection. Uh, they are just so classy. They're so beautiful. And I think... They perfectly illustrate uh, my feelings and my opinion when it comes to two-tone Rolex watches. I don't know. I don't think that ceramic pieces in two-tone have this charm and this look. I think that perfectly mint, crispy, uh, vintage versions, pre-ceramic versions uh, perfectly contribute. Uh, now this is my uh, my uh, very special ring and very important uh, ring in my life. And finally, I have a watch that I can wear with this ring. This ring was given to me by my father. It has his initials. It's also 18 karat gold. It has been worn on um, on his finger most of his life. We happen to have the same initials. The initials are in Cyrillic. Um, and uh, this watch is just uh, special, and this ring is just special. Um, I'm looking at it now, and I'm so happy that it joined my collection. My appreciation for it is tremendous. So I like to wear this bracelet, too. As I mentioned, I like to accessorize. Sometimes uh, I don't like to wear bracelet on the same side as the watch, because um, and I, I like the matching colors as this knife kind of nicely matches my my bluesy this blue and gold combination i have a, a ring obviously not as special as my father's ring but this is the ring that i think um kind of nicely complements bluesy uh, the stone has this blue mm, gleam that comes out uh, when it's a right light it's almost like uh acting similar to the bluesy dial and that's what kind of appeals to me so i don't know that's that's kind of emotion it's aesthetics it's it's 
it's how I look at the watches, how I look at the accessories. Um, they play, they play with each other. Uh, they are uh, contributing to how we feel when we look at them. They are just simply something we experience. And uh, here we have something very special. This was um, Bunny Clooney's gift to Bear Clooney uh, for his birthday. Uh, Bunny Clooney is truly awesome and she knows how to appreciate and understand Bear Clooney's love for horology. I love this clock. It's a beautiful combination of modern and classic. It has engraved Bear Clooney's name on it and it just shows how Bunny Clooney has a special place in her heart for my passion and my love for horology and watches. So, Bunny Clooney, thank you so much for this beautiful gift. And to all of you, thank you for watching. And now we are going to return to Bear Clooney's cave for final word from Bear Clooney. So after taking a closer look at these two watches, do you feel similar as I do? That that touch of yellow gold contributes to overall luxury appeal contributes to the aesthetics of the watch. And somehow it makes the watch a little more special for the moment, at least. I uh, feel that these pieces speak to me in that manner. Anyway, I wanted to share them with you. I wanted to show my appreciation for these two watches in my collection. I hope you like them as much as I do. Thank you again for coming to Bear Clooney Watches channel. Thank you for sharing this quest for the perfect timepiece with me. And please subscribe and come again. All the best to you.